the question I would have, and, and a lot of people are wondering, like, has Bitcoin bottomed? So, so for me, I'm not convinced that Bitcoin has bottomed, even if it remains higher in the dominance factor. Could it be that the altcoins are still headed much, much, much lower? Bitcoin may come down a little bit, maybe retest that 15.7 or even go lower level, but it still increases the dominance in there. Hello and welcome to Crypto Street. In this video, we have gathered the most important stories from the world of cryptocurrencies to keep you informed and up to date. Let's dive in. One serving as a currency backed by energy of any source, Bitcoin has solved problems that have been tied to money throughout history. Three of the largest traditional finance institutions have launched a non-custodial Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchange amidst regulatory uncertainty. Three, Bitcoin is becoming illiquid at 147K a month in signal of steady accumulation. The market appears to be in a period of quiet accumulation, which suggests an undercurrent of demand. Four, Bitcoin's rally to $28,000 causes the largest short squeeze at this month. The price surge liquidated some $36.6 million of short positions in the past 24 hours, the most this month, coding less data shows. Five, in mid-May, several reports indicated that Bangladesh and India were engaging in currency trading, using their respective currencies in order to address U.S. dollar liquidity challenges. Recent sources now reveal that Bangladesh is welcoming a formal invitation to join the Bryce Bloc. Speaking to reporters on Monday, A.K. Abdul Momin, the foreign minister of Bangladesh, expressed his certainty about their participation, stating, we will surely join once they invite us. Romanian prosecutors have officially submitted documents to the court seeking the seizure of 21 Bitcoin valued at $563,000 from Andrew Tate, a controversial social media influencer. The British-American ex kickboxer who gained a significant online presence, was charged with grave offenses of human trafficking and rape on December 29, 2022. Despite the charges, Tate vehemently denies all accusations leveled against him and his associates. 7. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, is working to develop a platform that would serve as an interoperability layer for central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, allowing for settlements among different countries. According to statements from IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva, this would avoid the underutilization of CBDCs for domestic purposes. H. Japan's crypto exchanges push for 10 times leverage on margin trading. The push for revised margin trading caps aims to attract diverse traders, including institutional investors, while enhancing market liquidity. Nine billionaire Mark Cuban offers suggestions on how SEC should regulate crypto. 10. The world of traditional finance is taking notice of Bitcoin, as evidenced by the recent filings from asset management giants BlackRock and WisdomTree. Now let's begin our enlightening discussion with Gareth Soloway, then going into the details of some of these events. What's interesting about gold and silver, right? So gold is your pure play, where it's just a store of safety, inflation hedge, all that kind of stuff. And then Ethereum is like silver in that silver is more volatile than gold. So Bitcoin is less volatile than, and, and Ethereum is more volatile than Bitcoin. But also Ethereum has a use case, right? Bitcoin, there's, you know, you don't really see a lot of stuff being built on on, on top of that. So so I think those, my guess is, and again, I could be wrong here, but my guess is the future is those two make up probably 80% plus of the overall market. And then you might have some of these other smaller coins kind of carving out their niches. But but it's about that. So what's interesting is what I'm getting from you is that you're saying you think that we'll go up to about 60% in terms of dominance. And I think I, last week we talked about the charts and what it showed. And the beauty of it is, is there's this awesome trend line that is right at 60%, right? So is, right. Am, am I correct? And that's what you're thinking it's headed towards? Yeah, I think around 60% is, is a good year, is a, is a good target for this year, for sure. Yeah, so so I think that makes sense. I, the, the question I would have, and, and a lot of people are wondering, like, has Bitcoin bottomed? So, so for me, I'm not convinced that Bitcoin has bottomed, even if it remains higher in the dominance factor. Could it be that the altcoins are still headed much, much, much lower? Bitcoin may come down a little bit, maybe retest that 15.7 or even go lower level, but it still increases the dominance in there. Wisdom Tree, a prominent ETF provider, seeks approval for the launch of the Wisdom Tree Bitcoin Trust on the FBO BZX exchange following BlackRock's recent application for a spot Bitcoin ETF. This indicates the growing interest and recognition of Bitcoin in traditional finance. In their filing, Wisdom Tree states their investment objective of gaining exposure to Bitcoin's price while considering expenses and liabilities. 
They plan to value shares daily based on the CF Bitcoin U.S. settlement price derived from major Bitcoin spot exchanges. Wisdom Tree conducts in-kind transactions with authorized participants, allowing them to deliver Bitcoin to the trust's custodian, U.S. Bank and National Association. Both Wisdom Trees and BlackRock's filings function as spot ETFs despite the name indicating a trust. While the SEC rejected previous spot Bitcoin ETF applications, it approved Bitcoin futures ETFs. The filings by BlackRock and Wisdom Tree respond to the demand for regulated options to participate in the Bitcoin market, albeit sacrificing certain features exclusive to sovereign Bitcoin usage. The consecutive filings by BlackRock and Wisdom Tree highlight the increasing recognition of Bitcoin's potential in traditional finance. These asset management giants acknowledge the need for regulated investment vehicles, potentially leading to broader adoption and attracting institutional investors to the Bitcoin market. Billionaire Mark Cuban offers suggestions on how SEC should regulate crypto. Mark Cuban, the well-known investor and owner of the Dallas Mavericks NBA team, recently took to Twitter to share his thoughts on how the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, could regulate the crypto sector. This discussion arose following the SEC's enforcement actions against prominent cryptocurrency exchanges, such as Binance and Coinbase. Cuban highlighted the need for a crypto-specific registration process that would enhance transparency and eliminate anonymity. In a tweet, he suggested that this process should require disclosure on aspects such as wallet security, wallet addresses, and details about how and where tokens will be traded. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong has previously stated that his company attempted to register with the SEC but faced challenges in doing so. The lack of a clear path for registration has been a point of contention for crypto firms facing regulatory actions. Cuban also engaged in a conversation about the classification of tokens as securities. While lawyer John E. Deaton referenced a speech by a former SEC official stating that tokens themselves are not strictly securities, as SEC Chairman Gary Gensler has maintained that all crypto tokens except Bitcoin are securities. Turning to the regulation of multifunction crypto tokens, Cuban argued that the SEC should establish a registration process specific to these assets. He pointed out that the current lack of a test for multifunction tokens makes it difficult to determine the intentions of owners, buyers, and sellers. Drawing an analogy to the legal framework for digital content, Cuban suggested that the SEC could adopt a similar approach for different types of tokens. Three of the largest traditional finance institutions have launched a non-custodial Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchange amidst regulatory uncertainty. In a surprising move, three of the largest traditional finance institutions have quietly launched a non-custodial Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchange called EDX Markets. Citadel Securities, Fidelity Investments, and Charles Schwab have come together to create this platform, aiming to attract brokers and investors interested in digital assets. Unlike traditional exchanges, EDX Markets operates in a non-custodial capacity, meaning it does not directly handle customers' digital assets but serves as a marketplace for executing trades. This innovative approach eliminates the risk of bankrun-style failures that plagued the industry in 2022. The timing of this launch is noteworthy as major exchanges like Coinbase and Binance face lawsuits from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. While these lawsuits highlight increasing regulatory scrutiny, it appears that larger institutions see it as an opportunity to gain market share. Institutions like EDX Markets have close ties to regulators and are better equipped to comply with regulations due to their scale. This creates an environment ripe for disruption, as demonstrated by BlackRock the world's largest asset management firm with over $8 trillion under management, filing for a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund ETF. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler's classification of Bitcoin as a commodity rather than a security has provided institutions like BlackRock with confidence to explore the cryptocurrency space. They perceive Bitcoin to be the safest cryptocurrency to offer products for. Although the newly announced EDX exchange will feature other cryptocurrencies as well, this development underscores that BlackRock is not the only major traditional finance institution paying attention to Bitcoin. In the current regulatory climate, everyone wants a piece of the pie and regulators have served it fresh out of the oven. That wraps up today's crypto news highlights. Stay tuned for more updates, insights, and analysis from the world of cryptocurrencies. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.